Getting the image crop just right can be a very fiddly process. And if you're working on a website that's got hundreds or thousands of images and they've all got to be displayed on the page with the crop just right, the time investment can be daunting. In this tutorial, we're going to look at two different techniques that we can do with Cloudinary. One will make our image crops automatically better with no input from us. And the other can even be aware of what the content in the image is to make sure that our crop is exactly right every time. To get us started, we're going to be working from a starter repo. I have cloned the Learn with JSON Cloudinary site images repo locally, and I'm on the start branch. And I've opened up O2 smartcropping.astro. This is going to be the page that we're working in today. Now, before we can go too far with this, we need to have a set of images that we can work with. So you can see in the smart cropping folder, there is a collection of images. I've already uploaded those into Cloudinary here. You can put them up wherever you want. And then the next thing that we need to do is make sure that we get all those public IDs and some alt descriptions and put them in to this array here. This is going to be the set of images that we're displaying on the page. Next, because we're going to generate URLs and also a little bit later, we're going to be doing some stuff that requires API credentials. We're going to get an API key. So we do that by going into our account. We're going to hit this settings button and then API keys here up at the top. And we need our cloud name. We need an API key and we need an API secret. Once you've got those, put them into your .env. You're going to want Cloudinary cloud name, Cloudinary API key, and Cloudinary API secret with the respective values dropped in for each. Once you've got that saved, close it, and we're ready to rock. In the interest of keeping things legible without a lot of scrolling, I'm going to collapse this images array, but they're all still there. They're just compressed. With our environment variable saved, let's set up our gallery. So we're going to bring in the Cloudinary package as well as the unpick image component. Then we're going to use those environment variables inside the Cloudinary config so that we can do things like generate URLs and eventually set up the smart cropping. So next, down here in our gallery, we're going to map over each of these images and we need to generate a source. So we're going to do that by using Cloudinary.URL. We pass in the public ID and then we're going to bring in an object full of transformation. So quality auto, format auto, those are just little performance freebies. We want this image to be square, so we're going to give it dimensions of 400 by 400. We want to have it crop to fill the container so that it is not distorted and fills the full square that's available to it. And for gravity, we're going to have it just pinned to the center of the image. That's usually okay because usually people put the thing they're interested in in the middle of a photo. And finally, we're going to replace that to do with our image component and use the source and alt that were generated up here in our map. Set the height and width to 200, give it a class name for style, and then we're going to start our server and see how that worked out. So npm run dev. And now we've got this gallery. The gallery is square, it's cropped. This is all looking pretty good, but we've got a little bit of weirdness. You know, we're cutting faces off here, a lot of empty space in these, the top of his head's cut off. So this could be better. And so the way we're going to improve this is we're actually just going to let Cloudinary decide how to crop and set the gravity. So we'll set these to auto, auto, and save. We come back out here, and we can see that now we're zoomed in a little bit on these images that had too much space before. We've centered up, and we're not cutting off the dog's nose. We've dropped down a little bit, so we're not cutting off his head. Just in general, the framing is better on all of these images. But let's say we've got a specific kind of site. Maybe we've got a site that focuses on dogs. Now, we don't necessarily want to focus on the entire subject matter of each photo. We want to focus on the dogs. So we want a little bit better cropping. So what we can do now is we can use Cloudinary's AI offerings to make this a little bit better. And the way that this is going to work is down here in our settings, we're going to go into Explore and then Add-ons. Make sure that you've got Cloudinary AI Content Analysis enabled. It's going to be down here if you don't have it turned on. And make sure that you've got some credits available. We're going to change this one to be focused on the dog. And then we also need to make sure that we sign this URL. Sign URL, make sure that only authorized users can use a given transformation. So we sign that URL. Now there is a catch though, because unpick doesn't support signed URLs for Cloudinary yet. There is an issue open. We do think that it's going to be possible to support for Astro because of the way that Astro does all this on the server side, which would mean it would be safe to do signed URLs but it's not there yet. So we're going to get rid of the image and instead just use a plain old image tag 
And because we want to make sure that we're still using best practices, we're going to set this to be loading lazy. We're going to do decoding, async, and that should be good enough. Now we're cropped into the dogs. And this is exactly what we were after. The AI analysis defined where the dogs were in the images. And then our crop to the dogs tells Cloudinary to focus on our little puppers here and not worry about whether or not we're cutting off a human's face or, you know, in this case, hiding the humans entirely because that's not what we're interested in. What we're interested in is the dogs. This object aware cropping is pretty intelligent. It can identify lots and lots of different objects. You may need to try a couple different variations to see which one is gonna work best for your use case. This is pretty cool stuff and I can see it being extremely useful on sites that are doing a certain type of content and wanna make sure that their preview images focus on whatever the thing is that their site is about. Further on in the series, we're gonna explore things like light mode and dark mode aware images. We're going to look at image uploads and then how we can do things like moderate image uploads or even let the AI do the image moderation for us. All sorts of fun stuff still coming. Stay tuned. We'll see you in the next one.